What's up guys, my name is Dane. <clears throat> Speaking to the chosen ones today. Uh, why you targeted? Basically something God's put on my heart. You know, I start looking at certain scriptures and even when uh, Jesus was tempted by Satan, he took him above all the kingdoms and basically offered the kingdoms to him and said, if you will bow down and worship me, I'll give you the keys to the kingdom. And he said he could give it to whoever he wants, right? There's another scripture that says uh, that Satan is the God of this age. And that means that he's been given a certain reign for a time, time being, right? Another uh, scripture, I believe it's in James. I want to say James 4.4. 4. It says uh, that we should not seek to be friends of the world. Because that will make us an enemy of God. So what it's talking about is the world system. It's the way that the world is run. See, there's a current that goes in a certain direction and when you're not going in that current everything in the world attacks you because it's a demonic uh control system you know the matrix all that stuff it, it's real you know you watch the movie the matrix people wake up to it and <laughs> and realize they're in uh basically a set up world right so if there's a way that the world is ran in a certain direction and Satan's over it and you're not going along with it and you don't conform to it right you're gonna get attacked and that's what the targeting that's what the gang stalking is there's something about you that's not going along with the program right and maybe it's even before you know God or or whatever but you know Romans 12 1 says uh, do not Conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Right, so there's a process of realizing that you are different than the world. You don't want the things that the world wants. You don't strive after what the world's striving for. So now what? If you're not of the world, <laughs> like you're kind of stuck in, in that middle ground until you realize who you are your true identity in Christ and the calling that God has on you. See, God's opened your eyes to certain things. And first, he's going to show you things about the world that aren't right, and you're not going to want to deal with them. But then you got to realize that uh, a lot of those things that you don't like about the world are actually inside you as well because you've been inside the world so long that these these things about the world get into your heart and then they become part of you and so the process of coming out of that is really hard right because God's going to put you through all these trials and and seasons that are going to purify all those uh impurities out you know the hate the jealousy the performance the uh you know the fear all these lies have to be purged from you and that's only done through uh, let's say intense situations so a lot of times God will show you things in others but the real thing is you need to check if that stuff's in your heart as well so it's a process and the only way out is is through Christ So yeah, that's just something, a quick little something I had today uh, as I'm sitting here picking up, picking up another brother. Uh, he's about to come out, so I'm going to just cut it off there, but hopefully uh, this spoke to you, and God bless you guys. Stay focused, even through trials, right? Keep your eyes on God and get the wisdom out of every trial. Look to God for wisdom. In Jesus' name, amen.